Hi you guys, so welcome back. Um, today I wanted to do a review on these Fendi baguette right here. Also sharing with you guys what fits in it and how I've been using it. This is a bag that I've been using since I've gotten it and there's not a lot of reviews so for anyone who's interested I thought that this might be helpful. If you haven't seen the unboxing slash reveal of me sharing this bag with you guys, I will put it in the info bar below. So if that is your cup of tea, do stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you back. Like this video if you do enjoy it and without further further ado let's get on to the video so this is the handbag in question it is the Fendi um, baguette and this is in the medium size in the canvas zuka print you can see there this is the newest iteration of this bag um, obviously this is very much a reissue or a vintage inspired bag from the early 2000s this is renewed in the sense that it is still the same zuka print but it has the black trim detail here it's still the same fendi ff logo but it now comes with two straps so it's got this beautiful thick strap here which i think is just so comfortable and functional but it also has this little hand strap here which I absolutely love so this bag to me is so perfect like I say perfect I mean this bag design to me is amazing I love love anything that has a short strap and a, um, a longer strap I like that they're both detachable I like that this strap is a perfect length and I love the thickness of it I love the functionality of this bag the bag that I got is in all canvas, but it is available in leather also, and also a fur, which is so, so gorgeous. If I could get that one, I would love to because it is stunning. Um, I got the canvas, which means it is all cloth. So it's not like coated canvas like Louis Vuitton. It is a cloth material. So that is probably its biggest downfall because cloth to me isn't as durable. You think it would be because you could, you know, clean it up, um, you know, get water on it and just like... Um, dry it off but you know it's a bit more prone to scratches you know uh, holes in my opinion so that is the only thing um, the other thing I've noticed is although the black trim is really really stunning I think it does sort of make this bag stand out a bit more because it is embroidered you can catch on it you know just how anything catches on string it can sort of pull away and then you know once once something catches on that and it pulls it it will ruin the whole strap so that is a little bit nerve-wracking considering it's on like the corners as well so I do think that that is a bit worrisome so even though it is a cloth bag and you'd think it's you know durable i really worry about how this will wear over time however on a positive note the beauty of cloth is that it is squishable and you know you don't have to worry about it this is a very very light bag and um, so it's perfect for travel it's perfect for packing and i actually use this on our trip to canberra and it was just amazing the bag itself also fits so so much like i was very surprised at how much this fits and because it's like soft it just molds to anything you put on there um, alternatively because it is soft if you don't put a lot it doesn't maintain shape that's the only thing it will start sort of um, doing this this sort of sag which isn't the nicest look but it doesn't bother me you know to the extent that you think it would so other details about this bag I do really like the Fendi logo here but the only thing is this has fallen um, I have dropped this bag and the first thing it did was land on its um, logo because it's quite heavy um, and so it did scratch quite a lot and I feel like over time this will wear very very heavily. I'm not 100% sure if it's, you can replace it like Louis Vuitton. I know you can replace the hardware. I'm not sure what the Fendi um, customer service is like so um, that's the only thing. Apart from that I think it's amazing that you can take these straps off um, and then I can reuse this for another Fendi bag and also like this little handle I can use for any other Fendi bag as well. So I think how Fendi designed it to be a double strap is just amazing and and the fact that the strap comes with it is really good value for money as well unlike the Dior bag which sells the strap separately which is insane and it's like literally the price of another bag it's insane um so anyways so that is the Fendi baguette I really really do like it it's certainly it's one of those things like I love it but I also don't know if it was 
like I love it and hate it. It's like a love hate relationship because you know it's a really simple bag. Like it is very much vintage inspired, so you could probably get away with getting a vintage piece, honestly. But there are just some details about it that you really you can't get any other way. So yeah, I. <laughs> It's just, it's a little bit expensive for the price point. So if you can get it secondhand or pre-loved, I do really, really recommend it. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, like, I do really like this bag, but I'm like not loving the price point is, I guess, where I'm at with this. So let me just show you what it fits because I used it to go to Canberra um, and I use this as my personal bag and it just fits so much. I was so, so impressed. So I'll show you some of the things that I put in and um, it blew me away. Anytime I travel like on a plane I have to bring my headphones my headphones that I use is the um, Beats by Dr. Dre um, I have it in the Solo 3 I think this is the on the ear headphones um, I love these headphones they are so amazing and I got it in this beautiful like light gold colour and it's just it's gorgeous so I love this headphone and this fits in there like easily how awesome is that and then I also brought a camera with me which fits nicely just like that and um, I had like a case with my glasses and I also packed in here my um, reading glasses like it didn't take up too much room but I put it in this Lispex case here just to protect it popped it in there just like that you can see like it's so malleable like anything you put in there it will basically just assume its natural position I brought a protein bar because I'm always down for snacks. So this one I have is the Sister Max High Protein um, in Salted Caramel. I love this brand for protein bars. It doesn't taste too yucky. Like it doesn't taste too like chalky. It actually tastes delicious and there's some really, really good flavors. Some of my favorite ones is the Nut and also the Cookie Dough. Um, they are amazing. So I put that in there. got my phone. I literally just stuff it in. Um... I have a mini pochette here, which I haven't been using lately, but I I had an incident where one of my, like, glue spilled in my bag, so now I sort of want to make an effort to put all of my makeup in a little container again, so I didn't actually take this with me, um, so I don't know if it'll fit, I just put them as loose sort of makeup pieces, but I don't want to do that in case it spills in this bag again, which is... Um, and not ideal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in so that is everything that fits in there right now which is really really convenient and then you can close it very easily um, and you are good to go it fits so much I think that's quite a lot like honestly you guys that's a, like I've got a full like full size headphone in there like you know that's insane um, and then what else I could probably just because my wallet's not in there I'm just going to chuck my sort of wallet in as well so it just chucked my wallet at the front there and then i'm just going to close it just like that and that is completely stuffed when it's stuffed and it's full it does assume that rectangular silhouette which is really nice that's actually how i like it to look and then it doesn't sort of um, bend in the middle i think this little strap here is so so useful and i absolutely love it um, the beauty of this is you can obviously replace the strap as well i have another fendi strap that is like the velour print but I actually really like this strap because it's cotton and it's so comfortable like this is the most comfortable strap I own I absolutely love 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 wearing this bag and this size like the length of this bag like this strap is actually perfect for me for crossbody and then on the shoulder it's also really perfect too because I'm petite so that is actually what fits in my bag like I'm just amazed with how much it fits um as I mentioned I think just the price point and the um the canvas itself is like I'm hesitant about. I wish it was coated canvas instead of cloth. I think that that would have made this bag so much more functional or be like a Louis Vuitton canvas alternative. It would be so, so amazing. Yeah, so I, I just wish that they didn't do a cloth. And also cloth, I don't think pictures as well. It has this reflection that doesn't really look as good, um, in my opinion anyways. Um, but yeah, this bag is so functional. I really can't complain. And the combination of the colors is actually so neutral that it matches with everything however my favorite way to style this is like all black or all beige and all white I think you know that looks 
really really nice because then all you have is this pop of monogram that just stands out so so much more I know it does come with a few other color trims and it also comes in a denim style which is really really beautiful but I wanted to stick to the classic Fendi Zuka because I do think it's you know quite nostalgic and very vintage but yeah that is it you guys that is my Fendi review that is my Fendi baguette review slash what fits do I recommend it uh, honestly yes and no I think if you are after a trendier piece that is a bit more functional I would say that this is definitely a lot more functional than the Dior I think this is a better alternative than the Dior but I feel like the Dior is constructed a little bit better because it feels stiffer to me um, whereas this is very very soft anyways you guys that is it from me I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful let me know what your thoughts are on this bag in the comment section below give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and join my little YouTube family here and as always I hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one bye